Okay, so this is just a quick uh, tutorial about the hoist tool. So um, we're using this venue here um, to um, to just show you how to use this. And I know it's not a venue that we normally use hoists in, but it's uh, for reasons that will become apparent, it's the one I'm using at the moment. So if we choose the in the tool sets, in the uh, rigging tool set, there's a hoist tool there. If you click and hold it, you can also choose the dead hang, but we're just going to use the hoist at the moment, hoist tool. Um, uh, the reason I'm doing this, I should have said, is because the, the old um, hoist tool screencast that's on my YouTube channel, or this YouTube channel, shows a slightly different workflow because it was 2017, I believe, so this is slightly different. Um, when you choose the hoist tool, um, there are a pre preferences up here where we can give the hoist a number, we can do all this retrospectively, the hoist type, manufacturer, all sorts of other things here. Uh, but let's just drop it on stage at the moment. So I'm going to do um, four. So I'm clicking once to place, there's a rotation kind of field. So if you just want it there, then it's click twice. Um, you can see there's a certain amount of information um, around it and we can um, decide what we want to see or not want to see with set hoist display here. So at the moment you can see we've got the hoist type, half ton, load trim, let's say we don't want to see that, we'll just switch that off, and measure from um, hoist origin which I'll explain in a second. So, so if I click off the um, load trim, the kind of hoist type, um, and measure from. Yeah, so that should have done that. So we lost the load trim. So, so if you do that at the beginning, if you know you're not going to need the load trim, then when you choose the hoist tool and you, um, that drop down, um, that preferences box there, you might want to uh, decide in their hoist display so that all the ones you place will all follow the same rule rather than going around them all and getting rid of the things you don't want retrospectively. So uh, one of the key things is numbers, so these are all called 1, which is obviously not going to be very useful to us at all, so we'll make that one 2, and this one 3, maybe it's not very logical the way that they're being done, but having them with different numbers is going to be critical a little bit later. Now what I'm sometimes asked is um, this measure from the drawing origin, so the reason I was using the Chandler is because the drawing origin is the zero zero. so you can see the zero centre of my screen here, and round about there is a hoist origin. That's a kind of a tricky place to find in the Chandler, or spaces without a, a known um, setting line, centre line. The Athenaeum, or other venue, is much more obvious. Um, so I'm going to choose the hoist origin, so that's what the hoist origin tool is for, and I'm going to place it like halfway between, so between there and centre. Let's see if I can find the centre of the venue. Point. And place it there. Somewhere that's going to be easy enough to um, to uh, to find on the floor. Now you see here these these have all changed to measure from spot one. This is called spot one, so hoist origin there, origin ID, spot one. Um, I could still tell this um, hoist to measure from the drawing origin, but it's understood that because I've placed the spot one in there, I've placed my own origin there, that it's assumed that I want all measurements from there. So for example now, this uh, 2970, if I took my uh, tape measure and I measured up from there to the centre of that hoist, you should find 29. <laughs> I must have got that wrong. I hate when you do this, when you do these things. 2970, oh, there. So I didn't click the centre of the spot um, well enough. So that's what it's measuring from. So all of these, now these measurements are from the this hoist origin that I placed in. The other thing that I'm sometimes asked is how do you um, define different um, symbols? So you can make your own symbols up. So this one is a what is it? A CM load star, but we don't have to use that. If we look in our resource manager in the um, 
in the venue file here we've got hoist symbols file and there's the one that we've placed in if I want to make my own one if I want to put in say little quarter ton things or um, the lift kits for example um, then that, we, that there isn't a drop down arrow for I can just uh, make my own so I can duplicate this let's call this lift, lift kit since we have some of those um, and I've now got that if I right click and edit 2D components I can um, change the colour in this symbol to be whatever I like and makes it simple. So that in my resource manager is now a lift kit symbol which was seconds to make and if I wanted to make this one of my lift kits in my hoist type I would choose custom and then choose the lift kit from the menu that I've just made. See, so that's now a lift kit. So that's how you would do that. Um, the last thing I was wanting to show is the Spotlight um, report. Um, uh, where is it? Hoist report. Hoist worksheet. There it is. Hoist worksheet. In the hoist worksheet, I can decide I want to see the hoist number. Uh, I want to see the hoist type because that's where I've defined it as a lift kit and I also want to see the X and Y so I'm going to output um, in a worksheet in hoist worksheet. So when I click that I've now got some data that says where the lift kit is going you can see there um, and then the other three are because I didn't do anything with them. But that would give you your hoist number, the type of hoist it is or what it's doing depending on what you want to do and then it's X and Y. If you wanted to copy and paste that out into an Excel document it's fairly easy to do as well. Okay uh, and that is probably about as much as I want to cover in here so that should get you going anyway and if you've got any other questions uh, feel free to ask. That's just for students. If anybody else has got questions um, stick them in the comments underneath I might get back to you. Thanks very much.